Jefferson Davis was born on June 3, 1808. He was always a hard worker and a good student in his educational career. As he grew older, he eventually joined the military. During the Battle of Buena Vista in the Mexican-American War, he was shot in the foot, which would affect him later in life. In 1847, he became the senator of Mississippi from the Democratic Party. He resigned the next year. My own convictions as to Negro slavery are, are strong. It has its evils and its abuses. We recognize the, the, the Negro as God in God's books and God's law in nature. Tell us to recognize him, our inferior, fitted expressively for our servitude. You cannot transform the Negro into anything one-tenth as useful as good as what slavery enables them to be. Davis went back to fight for states' rights. He went to the U.S. Senate until 1861 when Mississippi seceded. Oh. <clears throat> I rise, Mr. President, for the purpose of announcing to the Senate that I have satisfactory evidence that the state of Mississippi, by solemn ordinance of her people in convention assembles, has declared her separation from the United States. Under these circumstances, of course, my functions are terminated here. It seems to me more proper, however, that I should appear in the Senate and announce that fact to my associates, and I will say but very little more. The occasion does not invite me to go into argument, and my physical condition will not permit me to do so. If it were otherwise, and yet it seems to become me to say something of, on the part of the Senate here, represent on an occasion as solemn as this. General Lee requested termination from the Confederate Army, but was denied by President Davis. I'm sorry, Lee, but the war is not over and there still must be done. Dang it! Jefferson Davis was elected to a six-year presidential term at the Richmond Provisional Government Convention in 1861. Davis, you have led the army in Mississippi and embody the spirit of the Southern man. We would be proud to elect you. Jefferson Davis and most of his cabinet fled to the Confederate capital of Richmond, Virginia. The crucial event would lead up to Davis's surrender at the Apotomax Courthouse. After Davis was captured, he was in prison, but never tried, and was soon released. He was exempted of his crimes and prohibited from any involvement in government. Yes? Mr. Davis, what do you have to say for yourself? What? Mr. Davis, your incompetencies are the prime reason for the death of the Confederate States of America. Now, I ask again, what do you have to say for yourself? I have no clue of your meaning, sir. You ignore the law of inflation by driving the economy into the ground. You failed to, as Lincoln could, put your liking of a person on the need of your nation. And worst of all, you hired generals that fought a war of attrition when we had mil military might to attack. But when we needed to fight with attrition, we advanced into the Union. The actions of my generals are not the fault of my own. What happens under your administration is the result of you being in power. You are the guilty party, sir, and because of that, I have found a 200% decrease, decrease in my profit margin, and even greater decrease in my liberty. 